We're just starting up the live. Um, while you guys are hopping out, I might see if I can get the computer going. Oh dear, phone's got to be on silent. Hang on. Okay, I'll put the phone on silent, hey? Hi, Rado. How you going? Sorry about that. And I didn't get my computer going when I should have. So I can see what's going on. Okay, hi, Suzanne. Come on, computer. Wakey, wakey. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Christine and Lo Lois. Well, I said Louise. And just get myself organised. I haven't even started the computer today. Too busy sewing. Okay, so what you can see is I've actually already pressed and folded this all in half. So this whole big long piece that we joined together is all in half. Um, oops, it was. Hi, Veronica. And I'm going to show you what I've done here. So my computer's just having a moment. Okay, okay. Oh, I can do it from under here. I'm going to have to stand up. All right. Okay. Okay, so what I've got, which you can't see because it's off screen, is, and I'll show you, I have one basket. What have I missed? Nothing. I've just started. One basket full of the folded, pressed jelly roll all joined together. And one with the uh, rainbow batting in it. You'll need your clips. They're going to be very handy. Pins you can use as well. Not so easy to use, but can be used. So you have one in each. One in, uh, extremely clear for me today. That's good. That's really good, Reto. So you will have, this will open up. And I'll just press it again. So, uh, that should be right. So you will have it like that. So you open it up like that. You get your batting and you place it inside. You'll notice it'll be one eighth either, either side, smaller. Okay. Hi Debbie, uh, Denise, I should say. Fold it in like that and then fold again. And literally Clip the end and keep going down. I do probably about a foot or so, um, so half a meter maybe, a bit more, a bit less, and just let it go in the middle a little bit. So I move a couple of fingers down, then half and half again, and clip. I don't worry about that there. I'll worry about that when I get to the machine and do it again. Now, I don't do all of it. Some people do. I just find it's such a waste of time. I can do it at the machine. Now, like that. And maybe one more. So, fold it, fold, put your foot on it, and clip. Okay? So, you've got, you know, about that. Then what you do is you actually grab this, go to your machine. Um, you would need a walking foot on. A standard machine will want a walking foot. Okay. So I'm going to grab that camera, move it over here a little, and oh, I'm going 
to hold that under my finger there, lift my foot, place it under and put my needle down. Okay. Then I'm going to just, because I've got it in there, hold the needle holding it and about, oh, about one eighth from the edge, just fold it and sew up to here. And I'm just going to, I'm using a, a purple thread. Um, so it'll be a little bit visible, which is fine. And then get close to that clip, take it off. And just keep going the whole way down. I'll do a little bit of this and then we'll go to the next step just so you can see what happens. Because I don't have all the um, wadding. I'm waiting for that delivery so it's coming in. Um, I can get a fair amount of this done. So you just fold it in at the sewing machine, clip it, hang on to it. It'll pinch and carry on, but it'll relax once you let it go. Hi, Debbie. Can't watch it. No, it won't. This won't be that long. I mean, I'll go for a little bit on doing this and then take you to the next process. So once you get your hang of this, it's literally the same, same. So I don't, you don't have to sit here and watch me sew for, you know, an hour or so doing this. So I'll just get some of this done so that I can show you the start of the next step. So just clip, take that one out, make sure it's pinched under. So I'm using a um, confetti thread. So this one's 100% uh, cotton. You can use resage, you can use whatever you like. So I'm going to clip up there. I'm going to come in here, put one in between. We can just hold it, whatever suits. I'll just hang on to it. So just as you go, make sure that you're catching both top and bottom. How much is a dragonfly pattern like Reddo's doing? Um, who's asking that? Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, it was 175. I don't have any more of them. I sold them all. Um, and I did the last one, I did it at 155, 150 something. Um, I didn't realise I'd ordered actual more, but obviously I had. Anywho, but I don't have any more, won't be getting any more in, unfortunately. Um, Alright, so I'm just holding on to it till I get up to that clip. See why I love this. Yeah, sorry, Debbie. Um, you might find um, who might have it. Maybe Logan's. Um, who else might have it? Um, not too sure. Sure, who would have it? Oh, it's a beautiful job. Yeah, it's messy. <laughs> Not the glue. <laughs> All right. So this is a little bit fiddly, but once you get on a bit of a run, it's quite quite enjoyable actually. <laughs> in a basket each then um, you know you won't get them all tangled up and everywhere and fluff off the floor and all that sort of stuff if you try and have them in front of you like up here um, it's just going to give you an absolute headache 
because they'll, they'll get caught up in each other all the time. Hi, Lynette. So just make sure that you're reasonably close to the edge. So there's the edge. There's my stitch. Okay. If you come too far in, you'll miss that turned in bit. You want to be making sure that you're stitching that turned in bit down. I think I've seen somewhere where someone actually pinned the whole thing or clipped the whole thing with this and then went along and did it, but that's just a bit of a waste of time, I think. Just have to be happy with the dragonfly panel from Adele. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll keep my eye open when I'm at the shows for you, if I see one. It'll remind me. I've got to tell you, and I'll forget who it is. <laughs> I've forgotten. Someone asked me for a, and I even said to them the other day, it was about 40 bucks, was for a, a foot, free motion foot for the brother. I've got a feeling... There's someone regular, and I can't think of the person's name to tell them it was 48, so I'm sure that they'll tell me um, that I've forgotten them. Oh, the pins would stab it, yes, yeah. The, the clips in this is a lot lot nicer to use because you've got your fingers so close to it all the time. I'll do a little bit more and then I'll take you over to the other machine and show you because we need to do zigzag. So to do zigzag, I need to do that on my Nomi. She does zigzag. I think it might have been Claire. Yes, you hear the girls in the background. One's actually, <laughs> poor love, one is actually pulling out threads out of my rolly chair. And the other one is cutting uh, the orders from, um, was it not last night, the night before? Was it? Yeah, the night before. So, busy, busy, busy. do up to this clip and that'll do me for now. Cut that off. Okay, so I've got a good meter or so here, maybe to a meter and a half, okay? So I'm going to take this little fella and this and um, I'm going to take them over to the other machine. And I will continue on now, so bear with me while I get myself sorted. Turn the camera for you. Good afternoon, Rita. All right, almost there. I'll pop that one there. Just going to move this around so I can see what I'm doing. Um, Oh, 
Okie doke. I think I'm sorted. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Wow. I'm on a lower chair. It's weird. <laughs> I'm really low. <laughs> I might um, just see. Where's my pillow? There we go. That was very low. Right there. That's better. Okay. So, what you'll see here, or you probably can just see from the background, I've got my walking foot on. I have my little iron next to me because I'm going to need that soon. And I've got this fellow. Now, because this is only one thickness, it's really quite um, thin compared to this because if you remember you've just folded that over so grab that. what I'm going to do there's a slug looks like a thread slug thing whose is that for like the, the Spencer I think who's who is that for no uh, just pop it aside for a remnant of Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. I'll pop it down to ten dollars for the piece. Um, so I'm going to fold that over. All right. So what are we making? We're making a rug. Just making a cover. No worries, clear. So I'm going to fold that over. Okay. And I'm going to now zigzag down and back up again. Okay. So we're doing a jelly roll rug. So I've set my machine to zigzag. Lift it up. Start right from the edge. Oh, I'm <laughs> just looking for my foot. And I'm just going to start and just let it zigzag. And I'll show you in a sec. Who's being very noisy? <laughs> Then we'll start that one. So I'm going to go up and down at least twice. And then just cut off. And you'll have this funky looking shape. Yep. So then I'm going to get the scissors. Hopefully these will work for me because they're my not my material ones and I'm just going to trim that edge oh, yep that worked I'm going to trim that edge so I've got this sort of shape okay you see that shape and I'm going to because I've got one two I'm going to go right down the center of that And just so you know, my zigzag is set on four wide and about one and a half, um, sorry, four, yeah, four wide and one and a half long. All right. If you've got any questions, please ask. So you can see there. And they're not even, and that's okay. It doesn't matter. You're not going to really notice it. Trust me on that. Now, here's where it gets a little bit hairy berry all right let's zoom on in so you can get to see what i'm doing okay so what you want is this and hopefully again like i say it's going to work for me this scissors and you want to cut you can use your blade if you want it to i'm just going to hang on to it and i still cut a little bit and cut it on an angle like that Okay. that's so you can put it up against here it just helps it um, might even cut a little bit longer angle sharper okay just like that that's a better angle so I'm now going to zigzag or well, stitch that down I'm just going to zigzag it just to hold it in place and I'm going to zigzag it from the thick side to the thin so I don't, you know, stitch it in the wrong spot and make a mess out of it.
and it's just like that and don't stress about the wadding being showing and stuff like that you're not going to see it in the whole scheme of things you can give it a trim if you want to all right trim the thread now oh, i've got the clips yes because i've got my sewing machine mat here so i have clips in front of me in my little pocket okay so what you want to do is make this go on here and you're literally um, going up to it okay um, and we're going to zigzag it so let's start halfway down the straight don't try and start on an angle up there and just pin it there or we'll clip it there so just like that oops it didn't, didn't grow it did I like that and then get that in and give it a little bit of a clip because you want to really pretty much almost stitch over the top of it so sorry love um, uh, so that you've really got that right on that edge there that little bit there of white I am going to get rid of that it's just a little bit too much white for my liking just give that a little bit of a trim and I'll probably stitch that over a couple of times um, just to secure it in place so I'll just pop that under I'll start I'm starting off from the the start of that so I'm just gonna put my foot down and let's see if I can turn this so you can see what I'm doing you'll see it as it comes through okay Take out your little clip. Um, Becky, you'll pass me a pin, love. Come over there. Just need my pin. That'll do me. Thanks, honey. There you go. I'm just using a pin as um, a tool to hold it in place. So I'm sort of overlapping it a little, a little. I'm going to stop and cut off. Stunning, yeah, it is a stunning power. So you can see here, I've just done that. And I'm going to go over that again. You can see it's attached. I'm going to check the other side and make sure. And I'm definitely going to go over that again because I want to have that a little bit thicker there. I'm going to make sure that it's really sort of satin stitching it. So I'm holding back the fabric so it stitches thicker. And then give it a cut off. So it's like, it's like that. So it starts like that. There you go. All right. Now, get my little bits and pieces out of the way. And go back underneath the foot foot down, needle down, and I'm going to hold it in. Now I might need to um, just maneuver that over here. Hang on. Put uh, that down. Amini, amini. There we go. And I'll just wind it down. And just adjust that so you can see. I miss the panel. Can you pay me a pick, please? Yeah, it's a good idea. All right. So, oops, had it under my foot. So we're holding that together, okay, just like that. Nice. You need six thousand hands. Just saying. And as you get close to this edge here, to this corner, you need to sort of turn it. I'm going to slow the machine down. 
And stop on with your needle on the outside so you can lift and turn it a little. A couple more stitches. And you might have to go over this a couple of times. So the needle's on the outside, a couple more stitches. Turn, a couple more stitches. Oh, I know why, because oh, I'm on the back of it now. Um, and then uh, lift. I've got black underneath, so that's why I can only see black here. And then turn, and each time I'm stopping with the needle on the outer. Lift it up and maneuver it underneath so it's sort of almost overlapped, like really butting up together. Okay. I'll go around this again, but from the other side, so that I've got the purple on the other side. Got it upside down. get to the other end and I'm going to basically do the same thing once I get that one circle around I'm going to go take it off and then stitch again and I'm I want my needle on the outside as I come closer lift and make sure it's overlapping down a couple more stitches needle on the outside whoops a days and keep going, lift and turn, lift and turn. Now I find this way better than the way I've seen it done otherwise, like other ways of doing it. Now, as I'm coming up to the one I've already gone, I'm overlapping it a little, not completely, just a little. And I'm making sure that I'm catching both sides. And I'm just gonna cut off. The center of this rug looks much better than a previous one I remember. <laughs> so you can see I've got a little bit of that purple there so I'm going to just a white there sorry so I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to go back over my black that I did here in into purple so I'm just going to do that now and as you come around that corner really make sure that you slow it right down like really grab onto it and do that satin stitch so you can cover that white you don't want that white there really 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 really, really hang on to it you get lots and lots of stitching there is that brilliant? wow what is that kettle <laughs> Okay, it was at the Lifestyles the other night with Adele. Yes, Adele's got the, the, the butterfly. I'm sure she's got more. I can just put your name down for one rado. So I'm just cutting off some of those little fluffy bits and that. And that. And as I'm coming up to the other one. Really hanging on to it and I'm just going, making it go really slow and thicken up that thread. I mean you can adjust your settings and all that garbage but you know we can actually do it without doing that as well. Alrighty so here we go. And I'm just going to meet it back up here. This is great to watch while on school run. <laughs> yes, it was um, with those fabrics that she had. All right, so 
What I've got there is this sort of funky looking thing, okay? And it's not quite flat, and the way to flatten it, and the best thing to use is best press, but I have run out of my own. Well, I thought I had more, but obviously not. So I'm going to um, press it, and I'll show you what you do. And I've got a little bit of, see how I've got a bit of that wadding there? That's showing. Get in there with, like, literally just go in and stitch over the top of it. Don't be frightened to, to do that. If you need to just fix it a little amongst the whole scheme of things, no one's going to see it. So it just becomes fixed, becomes a part of it. See? All right, so this way, and now I've done it this way, it's going to be facing the wrong way for me. So I'm going to move that camera again so that you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Move my bits over. With Best Press, okay, I know I'm going to use this Fabulon, um, but um, I prefer Best Press because it doesn't leave any lots of names. So with a dry iron, <clears throat> make sure you, sure you give it a bit of a saturation. And then I'll probably go over with a permanent marker. Well, it, it won't be stitched in if you go over it with, but you only can. Yeah, it absolutely can. And with your dry iron, just really push down on it. Squeaky. That's because Fabulon's got that stuff in it. Because the best press doesn't. Really, you want to really make sure that presses down. Good afternoon, Yvonne. You do one side and then you'll go and do the other. So, okay. Now it's like cardboard. <laughs> So give it another good spray the other side now you have to do this every couple of rows so you'll go around maybe once or twice two rows and then do it again eventually you'll only have to do it every three or four rows but when you're tight in the center you need to do it every row to second row okay now what I'm going to do is show you what the original fabric see how now it's like cardboard and it's flat so it now becomes this lovely flat piece yep yeah? and then you just you just keep going you just keep going around and around and as you get further and further out it gets better and easier to do um, with the the finishing off is the exact same way as you start you when you get close to the end you cut it on an angle like a sharp angle and you feed it in to the side and stitch it down go back around it and you can then go around in a big zigzag if you want to and do a like a um, like it's almost like a satin stitch around the edge if you'd like you can do that as well um, I didn't with mine but you can okay so that's how you keep it nice and flat if you've got any kind of starch spray starch will work um, this is just fabulous because that's what I've had here for 100 years so that's what I'm using um, because I've been using best press for ages right now it's on my mat um, so that that's how you start it now the way they wanted it to be started would be literally imagine that's not there this is the start of it you've got that cut on an angle and you basically go up turn it on itself like that and go and then you've got to sort of start stitching from there and then you would go back around and do it that way and it, honestly to go around the mess that you get in the center is is full on so I decided that I didn't want all that I wanted a flatter center and not so nasty um, and that's my front there so I decided that that's um, that's what I would do so um, you can't over stitch it you can you could go around every one of these twice I think I did on some of mine um, just to ensure that it was was joined you just want to make sure that that's joined make sure that your zigzags wide enough to catch it all and that it's close enough that it doesn't sort of pull apart all right 
So that's how it works. So does everyone understand that? They're all good? Like you'll start better off the other way. <laughs> I cheat. <laughs> if I can cheat, I will cheat. I'm going to bring that up a bit so you can see me. Um, so, yeah. So does that make sense to everyone? You, you get what I mean? So that's. And the bigger you make, how did you get the wadding into the long bit? Um, if you saw the first video, then you'd understand how that started, that, that bit of wadding piece. All good? Yep. Probably go over the white with a permanent marker. Yep, yep. Um, just making sure. Yeah, da -da, da -da -da -da. Yep. Mm. Cheat easier. <laughs> um, I, I like the cheat version. Um, because then I get this cardboardy, nice flat centre. Um, trying to get them, and I kid you not, you've literally got to fold that like that, stitch down there, and then fold it back on itself. <laughs> Took notes and have drawn diagrams. The centre reminds me of a. Yes, it does. <laughs> Do you know what I used um, originally to get that centre? And then you've got to turn it and keep, you've got to keep this part, this sewn part on the inside. That's the one thing I missed on telling you. Yep, I've got a bit, I missed a bit. I'll go back over that. Yep, no worries. Uh, I think it was at the start, Heather. So I keep, if you notice, that sewn down part is facing inwards all the time. So it'll be always on the inside. Yeah? That makes sense now? It does. So I use the lid of a, um, a Tupperware container, the ovals. I just grab one of them, drew around it, and I went, that's my template. <laughs> and then I fold it on half, snip, all good. <laughs> so, yeah, if you start with a circle, it would end up round. Yes. Yeah, it still ends up a little bit round, um, sort of like it's 37 by about 34. You can, you can make it square and sort of square up, but every edge is then going to, it's going to be a rounded square. Um, and depending on how big you make that centre as to how big you can get your, your piece, um, it just means you might need more jelly rolls. You might need two just so that you can um, uh, get out enough rows to make it look decent. Um, but yeah, that's that's... That's generally it. That's how it works. And you just keep going around and around and around. It's good fun. Good fun. And, and it's a great idea. So the same sort of thing would happen like if you're doing pots and that. But as you're, as you're going around, like when you're sewing, right, you wouldn't be trying to keep that flat. You're trying to pull that in and you're coming in to the center and pulling it, pulling it in like that. So then you get that sort of rounded bit. Bring that off, fell over. So it comes up, same sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. So that's how it's done. Nice and easy. I just didn't get time yesterday to do that, but um, thanks for joining me. Appreciate it. Um, we, I will see you Sunday because we'll be having a live next step with the other one. Half square triangles. Woo -woo. <laughs> so uh, tomorrow I'm off for a family gather and I'm um, going to have lunch, which will be nice. I'm going to for a months and months and months and um, I will talk to you guys on Sunday if um, I think we're still cutting are you doing a box opening oh Claire <laughs> do you really want me to open the box <laughs> I can do a box opening be scared be scared be very scared all right do you want to do it now I'll log off make a coffee and we'll come back and we'll do a box opening all right <laughs> so we'll do a box opening. Give me five minutes. See you soon. <laughs>